The Dallas Mavericks have always been a force on the court. They've been a whole different team since trading for Luka in the 2018 draft. But things are about to get even crazier. The Mavs have a new addition that's going to take them to a whole new level. And I'm telling you, it's going to happen sooner than you think. So sit tight, hit that subscribe button, and let's get into it. Remember the Brooklyn Big Three? You know the one. Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, and James Harden. These guys were supposed to usher in a new era in the NBA. But what's crazy is that not a single one of them is still playing for the Nets. Every single player in that Big Three is now on a different team. This is now easily the biggest what if in NBA history. I mean, we're talking about a championship caliber team team that was completely disbanded after just 13 months. All because Harden decided to join the 76ers. I'm still trying to wrap my head around this whole thing. One moment, the Brooklyn Nets are killing it on the court with KD healthy and playing like a champ. And the next thing you know, I'm scrolling through my Twitter and what do I see? The notification that Kyrie Irving is being traded to the Dallas Mavericks. I had to do a double take like, what? And to make matters worse, a few days later, KD leaves too. It's like, what the heck is going on in Brooklyn? Is this a rebuild or what? But I'm not here today to talk about the Nets. That's for another day. Today, I'm focusing on the Mavs. The Mavericks are hoping to make another long playoff run with their new look roster that includes their two top tier offensive superstars. But with only 21 games left in the regular season, the team has a 32-29 record and sits at the number six seed in the Western Conference. Now, we know that things can change in a flash when it comes to the playoffs in the West. So every game from here on out is very crucial for the Mavs. Can the duo of Luka Doncic and new star running mate Kyrie Irving help the Mavs keep their playoff spots secure and even maybe bring home the Larry O'Brien trophy to Dallas? It's been more than a decade since the Mavericks took home the championship, but with these two superstars on the court, anything is possible. We all know that Kyrie has been in the news for some off-court controversies lately, but let's put that aside for now and focus on his skills as a ball handler. Kyrie is undoubtedly one of the best in the league, and this means big to the Mavs. The hope is that Mark Cuban's team can make a real push for their second NBA title with Kyrie on the roster. Nobody can deny his incredible talent and offensive skills. He's got a unique way of finding his way to the basket, and he's been doing it all season long. So far, he is averaging an impressive 27.2 points, 5 rebounds, and 5.4 assists per game. And let's not forget his shooting percentages. He's hitting 49% from the field and 38% from beyond the arc. That's some serious numbers right there. But if you ask me, those averages really don't tell the whole story. In my opinion, Kyrie's impact on the basketball floor goes way beyond just putting the ball in the basket. Sure, he's an incredible scorer, but he brings so much more to the game, especially when they are playing together with Luka. Irving debut. Kyrie Irving came out charging in his Dallas debut. He was on fire from the get-go, leading his team to big runs and getting his teammates pumped up. And to make it even better, Luka Doncic was cheering them on from the bench. Irving went on to score a whopping 24 points, grabbed four rebounds, and dished out five assists in 37 minutes of play. Talk about a solid performance. And the best part is, the Mavericks never trailed in the game. They dominated the Los Angeles Clippers and came out with a 110-104 victory on February 9th. After his debut, the eight-time All-Star said, It felt good to get this debut out of the way. It's just been a long 96 hours. Barely any sleep sometimes. It's the first time I ever got traded in the middle of the season. So it was new for me, but I'm excited that I'm here. I'm sure when number 77 gets back, it'll be even more enjoyable to see and play out there. Despite Luka Doncic being sidelined due to injury, Irving meshed well with the young Mavericks team and contributed to their success on the court. Irving was part of a 13-0 spurt early in the game and scored eight points with a jumper and back-to-back -back three pointers. When Doncic was asked about his thoughts on Irving's debut with the Mavericks, he simply said, amazing. It's clear that Irving has already made an impression on his new teammates and fans alike. Mavs coach Jason Kidd also had this to say on Irving's incredible debut. He makes things look easy. The comfort level he feels with us, you can see it in the game. He is at peace with his basketball game. Luka and Irving duo. It was not until February 11th that we saw this duo of Kyrie Irving and Luka Doncic get their debut together. Kyrie had an impressive 28 points, 7 assists, and 7 rebounds, going 11 of 21 from the field. But let's not forget about Luka, who also had an amazing game, dropping 27 points, 5 assists, and 9 rebounds, while also getting 11 of 20 from the field. Now I know what you're thinking. 
these numbers aren't anything new for these two ballers. But the fact that they were able to put up a combined 55 points, 12 assists, and 16 rebounds is still something great for the Mavs. I'm sure Luka would much rather have Kyrie by his side than try to record that stat line for himself. The duo's next game was against the Timberwolves, and even though they didn't get the W, they still managed to score a combined 69 points, grab 17 rebounds, and dish out 12 assists. That's half the total points the whole of Mavericks team put up. The same also happened in their latest game against the San Antonio Spurs. They can Combined for a total of 51 points, 8 rebounds, and 16 assists in the Mavs 142-116 win. Did you dissect the difference between your all-star effort and how Luca might approach the game? Uh, is, is Luca in Cabo right now? Like, Luca I, I think he's has right. already left and Luca is on his way. Yeah, no, I, I think um, I mean, he, he was doing his best to get his energy up for the game. I mean, you can't blame him. He's played a lot of minutes and... He, he rightfully deserves a vacation, so uh, hopefully he's on a plane already. I don't know if he's doing media right now. But, he already uh, finished. Yeah, he, fin yeah, he was <laughs> the first one done. Yeah, yeah. So uh, get a nice beer for him on the plane to Cabo, and uh, we'll see him on Wednesday. But, um, you know, me personally, I was just trying to go have fun, get up and down a little bit, uh, get ready for what's coming in the second half of the season, and, and just leave out of here with a primary goal, and that's to be healthy. So I accomplished both. Kyrie, what do you think of Matt? What Irving adds to the team? What Luka brings to the table is a whole new level of diversity to their attack. When opposing teams put their best defenders on Luka Doncic, who's going to handle Kyrie Irving? And vice versa. When they put their top defenders on Irving, who's going to guard Luka? Having two top-tier offensive players is a game-changer. It's going to make things so much easier for Luka. And we wouldn't be surprised if we see his three-point percentage go up playing with Kyrie Irving. Take this scenario in the game versus the Sacramento Kings. Early in the game, a quick pass up the court allows Irving to attack into the middle. Watch how that sucks Luka's man to the the ball, which in turn opens up Luka for the ball, and he sinks in a simple and open three-point shot. Now, a lot of people look at Luka's 34.7% from deep, and they think, oh, he's just an average three-point shooter. But here's the thing, Skip! You gotta look at the quality and difficulty of the shots he's taking. Luka has to create a lot of his own shots. He's got to get past defenders, step back, and create space before he can even get a shot off. So it's not like he's just getting wide-open looks all the time. But when he does get those catch-and-shoot opportunities, he actually shoots a solid 45.2%, which is impressive. Here's another play. Luka does his step and skip, as always, and collapse four defenders into the paint. And once the ball is moving, that penetration directly causes Kyrie to be wide open for the left wing three. I'm feeling pretty optimistic with the Mavs, despite the lack of defensive talent. Yeah, I know it sounds crazy, but hear me out. You see, they don't necessarily need to be world-class defenders to succeed. As long as they can hold their own and put up a fight on the offensive side of things, they'll be just fine. And honestly, I've been impressed with what I've seen from this squad so far. They seem confident, the ball is moving, and they're really starting to come together as a cohesive unit. And let's be real, that's half the battle when it comes to basketball. So while some may be quick to write this team and do a off due to the Mavs' defensive shortcomings, I'm choosing to look on the bright side and see the potential for greatness. When the pieces come together, Doncic, Irving, and the Mavericks will be a real force in the West. And based on the All-Star Game shenanigans, it looks like they're well on their way. All in all, the Dallas Mavericks are looking like a team that's going to be making some serious waves this season. They're gearing up to bring some major heat with Kyrie Irving leading the charge. Thanks for watching, and until next time, take care. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button.